Hey guys, this week we're going to be talking about packable day bags. And the bag we're going to be taking a look at is the Outbreaker Day Pack from Tortuga. And so a while back, we actually reviewed the Tortuga Outbreaker Travel Backpack on the channel, the 35 liter version, and that was a really great bag. It still remains the most comfortable travel backpack that I've used, and it just has some really great organization, some great quality, and you can tell the company is really focused on making travel easier for people that like to one bag it. And so one of the main questions I've gotten on a lot of the videos for the travel bags have been, you know, what do you do once you reach your destination? Like, how do you carry your stuff if you want to explore around the city and you don't want to wear a huge bag with you while you're traveling? And so in the past, I've experimented with a couple of different solutions. You know, one of them used to be to wear a pack. One of them used to be to wear just a regular day pack on the front of my travel backpack. So I'd be, you know, wearing my travel backpack and then my day pack on the front. But that's not really too comfortable and it kind of defeats the purpose a little bit of one bagging it. And so in the past, I'd also experiment a little bit with packable day bags, such as this one that I have here from Amazon Basics. And so you've probably seen a lot of these in, in many different stores, and they, you know, there's a ton of different brands that make these. And so these are you know, really lightweight, thin backpacks that are very flexible. They're very easy to pack into each other, and they fold down into this really compact size. So there's been a lot of different options that have come out recently. Tortuga actually has their own version of this. They have the set out packable day pack, which looks a lot like this. And so there's other companies such as Matador and Mystery Ranch that have put out packable day bags recently that are very focused on just being very ultra light and small. And so this is really convenient. If you don't have a lot of space, you know, you can just fold this into itself. You can hang it from the bag if you don't have room inside. And you know, this seemed like probably the best case solution. That is until I saw the Outbreaker day pack. So one complaint that I have with a lot of these bags that fold up into themselves is just that they're really just meant to be kind of a backup backpack. They're not that great to wear, they're not that comfortable, they don't offer a lot of support, and they're definitely not good for holding your electronics. And as soon as I saw the Outbreaker Day Pack, it really seemed like this might be an awesome solution for people who are kind of having that dilemma of you know wanting to one bag it but still needing a more capable day pack while traveling. So I reached out to Tortuga to see if they had a review unit for me to check out and share on the channel with you guys. And so as I've been testing this, I've been really impressed with just how well this works as a regular day bag. So as you'll see throughout the video, what I've gone ahead and done is try to include a lot of items that you've seen in my other daily bag videos. Even though I don't necessarily travel with a lot of these things, I just wanted to showcase kind of the space and the capability of the bag as just a day pack. And then of course, I'll talk a little bit about just how well it packs. So overall, I was really impressed. I'm really excited to share it with you guys. And I wanna thank Tortuga again for sending the bag for me to test out. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack. So just starting out with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall look of the day pack. The designs and the materials are very similar to what you can find on the Tortuga Travel Backpack, which we looked at a little while back. So it has that same kind of really durable feeling sailcloth material. It has really nice high quality YKK zippers with aqua guards to help keep water out. So it really feels like this bag's gonna hold up well to the elements. The sailcloth is really nice in that it's also super light and thin. So you know, it, it seems very sturdy, like it's not gonna tear, but you know, the fact that it's so light and thin is really what's gonna make this backpack very easy to pack down flat so that you can fit it into your carry-on backpack. Another advantage of the sailcloth is just the weight. So one thing that really impressed me when I first picked this backpack up is just that it's about a pound. It's super light, so you know when you add it to your bag, it's not gonna add a lot of extra weight. The capacity of the bag is 21 liters, so it's a really great size. That's definitely a, a, almost a perfect day bag size in my opinion, just enough space to really hold everything you'll need. But it's not so big that it sticks out or it's uncomfortable to wear. So it's just a really great size overall, and I was just impressed with how much I was actually able to fit in here. So as I mentioned in the intro, what I did is I actually filled this bag up with a lot of the same items that you've seen in some of my other daily bag videos just to showcase more of what this bag would look like compared to other daily bags and not just so much as a packable day pack. So as I was testing this out what I really wanted to see was whether I would be able to use this on a regular day-to-day -day basis and not just in a situation where I was traveling and I needed an extra backpack. So you know this is similar to what I did with the Manal daily backpack and I can definitely talk and I'll definitely talk a little bit about my thoughts on the Outbreaker versus the Manal Daily, as well as how this compares to some of the other packable day bags that are commonly found on Amazon and other places. But as I mentioned, the bag itself, even, you know, it has a 21 liter capacity, which is enough to hold all the things that I typically carry with me, but it still manages to stay really sleek as you're wearing it, so it's definitely not gonna stick out or look weird as you're wearing it throughout the city. And overall, I just really like how it looks when I'm wearing it. 
Continuing on with the outside of the bag, as you can see, the bag has two water bottle pockets on the outside, which I absolutely love. This is definitely something that I really like to see on all the daily bags that I've tested out. And these are very capable water bottle compartments. So as you can see here, I have the same water bottle that I've used in all my other daily bag videos, and that fits very comfortably in here. You know, these pockets are, you know, they have a, they have a nice amount of give, so they stretch out a little bit, but not so much that they just hang out and, you know, ruin the sleek exterior of the bag. I really like kind of how they manage to stay close. These are very similar to the water bottle pockets found on the Tortuga travel backpack, which I mentioned a little bit earlier. So they have the same material and they managed to stay pretty close to the bag. It's really nice that they've also included two. So as you saw, one of them I had my water bottle. And then in another one, if I wanted to carry a tripod or something like that, it's nice to have just a little bit of extra space to organize the things I want to carry with me. So really nice to see that they included that. And it's also nice just how thick and durable they feel. So. A lot of the other packable day bags that I've tested out, you know, also include water bottle compartments, but a lot of times they're just a really thin kind of meshy material that just feels like it's gonna tear very easily or if you put something in just a little bit too hard. So I really like that this feels like it's gonna hold up well. The next thing I wanna talk about is the straps in the back panel. To me, this is where the bag really stands out compared to a lot of the other packable day bags that I've seen. And so from what I've seen, Tortuga always seems to do a great job with the straps in the back paneling of their bags. If you watch the travel backpack comparison video that I did a while back, Tortuga actually came out on top as the most comfortable travel backpack between the Manal, the Air Travel Pack, and the GORUCK GR2. So that's a really tough competition and it's really impressive that the Outbreaker backpack was able to be that comfortable. And so that kind of transfers over here to the day pack as well. The straps themselves are really well padded. They're nice and wide, so if you carry a good amount of weight with you, they're not going to dig into your shoulders. They have a really nice kind of meshy material here that seems like it's going to absorb moisture really well and provide some good airflow. They also have an adjustable and removable sternum strap. Since this is a little bit larger of a bag, you can probably fit a good amount of stuff in here, so it might be nice to have that to add a little more support as you're walking around throughout the day. What I, I was really impressed with just how well padded the back is. So obviously it doesn't have the same level of padding that the travel backpack does just you know, because this is meant to be something that you can pack and that gets pretty slim. So with that in mind, it's still really impressive that Tortuga was able to add as much padding here as they have. That you know, this, this padding here that they have on the back and near the shoulders you know, comes out a pretty good amount. It's really soft and well padded. And it also has that same kind of meshy material that the straps have to help reduce the amount of moisture that builds up. And, they're not, and even though they're not as elevated as a typical day bag might be, they still provide a nice little amount of elevation here that's gonna help keep your back a little bit drier as you're walking around throughout the city. So, you know, this is so much more comfortable and supportive than a lot of the other packable travel day bags that we've used in the past. So, you know, I'll be referring a lot throughout the video to this Amazon Basics backpack, which is, it's not a bad bag by any means. It's, just, it's meant to just be a very simple packable day bag that you could use in an emergency situation or if you just don't need to carry that much with you. But at the same time, it's not a very capable day pack. And one of the areas where it struggles the most is in the straps and the back paneling. So, you know, the amount of padding and support that went into the Tortuga day packs, back panel and straps is really, really impressive. And it's just really nice that they were able to make something that packs down really small without compromising in this department. Because, you know, as if this is something you're going to be wearing for a lot of time throughout the day, you definitely want it to be comfortable to wear. So next up, I wanna go through the pockets and what I actually have inside of the bag. After going through all the different items that I have, I'll talk a little bit more about the packability and just showcase how the bag looks when it's flat and how well it packs into a few different bags that I typically travel with. Uh, but first off, I'll just start off with this outer accessory pocket that it has. So the bag is pretty simple and the amount of pockets and organization that it offers, but it is very effective. So in addition to the water bottle compartments on the outside, it also has this one zippered pocket, which you know is, is very simple. It has a really nice water resistant zipper here. And so this is where I would put anything that I would wanna grab easily throughout the day. So the pocket itself is very simple. It doesn't have any internal slip pockets or anything like that, but I was surprised at just how spacious it is. It's just kind of a big, bucket and I was just really surprised at the amount of stuff that I was able to fit and how bulky those items could be. A lot of times with external pockets such as these, uh, I've found that the pockets themselves that don't have a lot of volume so it, you know you can only really put a few small or slim items in there but I was really impressed that I was able to put a lot of different sized objects in here pretty comfortably. So first up what I have in here is actually my Ray-Ban sunglasses inside of their case and then I also have my blue pot power bank and portable Bluetooth speaker combo. And then I also have my PowerBot five port USB adapter. 
And then on top of that, I also have just a regular lightning cable to charge my phone, my tablet, things like that. And then I was even able to fit my GoPro Hero 3 Plus in here. So as you can see, those are all pretty bulky items and you know they fit very comfortably in here. You can also take a look at the pocket as it's empty. I really like just the really bright lining that it has on the inside, so there's a nice contrast making it really easy to see everything that's on the inside. As an added bonus, there's also a little clip here that will work well for your keys or a keychain or something. So what I currently have here is just my Gerber shard, so I typically travel with that everywhere I go. And the clip itself, I really like the system that it has here. It's very easy to open and close. So the, the clip itself is very short, so you can't really use this to unlock something while you're still wearing the bag. So you do have to unclip your keys or whatever you know accessories or tools you have on here. But it is nice that it just has that extra bit of organization to keep this item separated or just make it very easy to grab whatever you have clipped onto here. So moving on to this main compartment, the bag itself is a top loader. You know, here it has really nice water resistant zipper, so it really feels like it's gonna help keep the main area protected against the rain. It has a really good capacity. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the bag itself is a 21 liter capacity, so there's plenty of space here to pack you know, all sorts of different bulky items. So as you'll see here, I have some items that you've seen in other videos, but I do believe you could also pack something like a change of clothes or you know, a towel if you're staying somewhere where the hotel gives you a towel and you wanna carry it with you during the day. That will fit very comfortably in here. And so, with the items that I have here, the bag is still actually pretty empty. There's still a good amount of space for stuff. So currently what I have is just my power packer, um, cable and accessory organizer. I did an in-depth review a few weeks back. And then I also have my Beats Solo Wireless. So, you know, these is one of the bulkier items that I typically carry with me. So it's nice to see that that fits very easily. The other item I have in here is my Levitate Portable Standing Desk. And so, you know, it's just really nice overall that the bag just provides a lot of space for you to pack however you want. So if you use a lot of pouches and things like I typically do, this is a really great bag. It accommodates well to that style. Next up, the bag actually has a tablet and laptop sleeve. So, you know, here it has this kind of Velcro loop attachment to help keep the laptop and tablet in place as you're walking around the city. Or if, you know, the bag happens to flip over, they won't slip out of the pocket while you have this attached. And so first up with the tablet compartment, you know, neither of these compartments is very padded. They don't have like a felt lining or anything like that to help prevent against the micro scratching. And the compartment themselves is pretty, you know, it's pretty flimsy as you can see. It doesn't, it doesn't offer padding per se, but I do like that they're both elevated off the ground. So here with the tablet, as you can see, the pocket itself comes down to about the middle of where the laptop compartment would be. So, you know, it has enough space for up to a 9.7 inch tablet. Currently I have my iPad mini 2 here and it fits very easily and I really love how elevated it off the ground so I can just throw the tablet in there and it's definitely not going to make any contact with the ground. And so moving on to the laptop compartment, uh, the compartment itself is pretty spacious. I was surprised just how big it was. So as you can see here, you could definitely fit up at least a 15 inch laptop in here. Currently what I have is my 13 inch MacBook Pro. But as you can see, the pocket itself comes out pretty wide. So if you have a bulkier laptop, that should fit in there pretty comfortably. And the laptop compartment itself is also elevated off the ground. So it's really nice that you, know, you can be confident that when you put your bag down, your laptop won't be making contact with the ground. So I really love when, when bag makers really keep that in mind. It's so important to be able to put the bag down without having the laptop strike the ground. So I really like how that's elevated. I really like how wide the pocket is. As I mentioned with the tablet compartment, it's not very rigid. So it doesn't actually have a lot of padding here on the front and it doesn't have any sort of microfiber lining to help prevent against the scratching. So, you know, the majority of the protection on the laptop compartment comes from the fact that the compartment is elevated and also from the protection provided by the back paneling. So because, as we mentioned when we were going over the back panel, it's very rigid, that, that protection extends to the laptop. So, you know, the back side of the laptop compartment you know, shares some of the padding that the back has. And so the back panel itself is pretty rigid to provide not only that support for your back, but also to provide a little bit of protection for the laptop as well. And so I think this, you know, was a very tricky balance to manage for Tortuga uh, because, you know, you, you wanna make the bag thin enough and light enough to be easily packable but still have it provide enough rigidity and support and protection to make it possible to carry a laptop without necessarily bringing a case with you. And I think they kind of walk that balance pretty well here. As I mentioned, it's not as well padded as a typical you know, bag that's meant for daily use, but it does offer more than a lot of the other packable day bags that are on the market. So you know, as we've been talking about the Amazon packable day pack, that doesn't have any rigidity or support at all. So that's definitely not a bag you'd want to carry a laptop in without some sort of a protective sleeve. 
Same from what I've seen with the Matador Packable Day Packs as well as the Mystery Range Packable Day Bags. You know, those are pretty pricey bags and they have some cool features, but they also offer no rigidity. And I don't believe that they have the type of support that you find here with the Outbreaker where it has at least a little bit of structure and rigidity in the back to help provide a little bit more support for your laptops. So overall, you know, it's a little bit of a compromise, but I think it works well. And especially for the added benefit of being able to pack this into your carry-on bag, I think it's worth that trade-off. And as long as you're careful as you're walking around the city, I do think it offers a fair amount of protection for your laptops. And so I mentioned in the intro that I would talk a little bit about how this bag compared to the Manal Daily. And you know, that's a really tough comparison. Both bags were designed by their makers to kind of be companion bags to their carry-on bag. So Manal has the carry-on 2.0 and the daily bag, and the two bags were kind of designed together so that you could put the daily bag inside the carry-on. And you know, as we saw in the videos we looked at for those bags, it works pretty well. The bag, the daily bag fits inside really nicely. And one thing I gotta say about the Manal Daily is that the laptop compartment is fantastic. It really offers a good amount of protection. It keeps the laptop protected and elevated on all sides. The Manal Daily is also a pretty nice size. I, you know, I believe it was between 19 and 21 liters. So pretty close in capacity and size to the Outbreaker Day Pack. And I think overall that bag is, is really well implemented and it's a nice bag. However, it also costs $200 which I think is a little bit pricey, especially for something that's meant to be more of a companion day pack as opposed to a full-fledged day pack, I think that's a little bit pricey. And you know, even though it's a good quality bag, I think that if you would like to save a little bit of money, the Outbreaker day pack is only $99, so it's half the price. It doesn't have as good of a laptop compartment as the Manal, but the Outbreaker, like the Manal Daily, was also designed as a companion to the Outbreaker travel backpack. So, and as you can see in the footage here, the Outbreaker day pack packs very well into the travel backpack. And overall, as I've been talking about throughout the video, I'm really impressed with just how capable this is as a regular day bag. And if you want something that will offer maybe a little bit more protection for your laptop and your tablet, or that may offer ever so slightly more support for like your back or on the straps, you might wanna take a look at the Manal Daily. But as I mentioned, it costs twice as much as the day pack. And I think the day pack is just as capable as a day bag. I think it might even be able to hold more than the Manal Daily. And it still packs just as well into a larger carry-on backpack. And so now that we've walked through the pockets of the bag and I've kind of emptied it out, I can kind of show you how well it packs down. So as you can see here, the bag itself gets really flat when it's empty and it's super light. You know, as I mentioned in, earlier in the video, that sailcloth material is really a great benefit here. You can't really feel the bag when you pack it into a larger carry-on. And as you can see, it gets really flat, which is kind of incredible with just how well padded the straps and the back paneling are. It packs down really tightly. It fits very well into the Tortuga backpack. And so the bag that I've actually enjoyed pairing this with the most is the Nomadic Travel Bag, which is a little bit more of a duffel style carry-on as opposed to a backpack. And so as you can see in the footage here, what I've actually gone ahead and done is pack the Outbreaker Day Pack into the Nomadic Bag and it fits very well. And so this has been my favorite combination of bags recently to travel with, when, especially if I'm traveling for a little bit longer trip. The Nomadic Travel Bag is bigger than a lot of the other day bags that we've had on the channel. But I really love the combination of this day pack packing into the Nomadic Travel Bag. And you know, the Nomadic Travel Bag is definitely one of the bags that I would never use as a daily bag. So I was really happy when I found the Tortuga Day Pack to kind of help you know, provide me with a little bit extra versatility for whenever I arrived at my destination as far as what I wanted to carry around. So overall, I was really impressed with the Outbreaker Day Pack. It really seemed to manage the balance between being packable and a full-fledged day pack really well. And I was just really impressed at how well it worked as kind of the solution for one bag travel for people that want to take an extra day pack that's going to be really capable. Overall, the bag has been super comfortable to wear. The quality seems great. It offers a good amount of organization. And I've just been really impressed by how much it is able to hold and just how easy it is to wear for a long period throughout the day. The bag itself costs $99 and you can purchase it directly from Tortuga's website. And I'll make sure to include a link in the description below to where you can get the bag. And so at $99, the bag is a little bit of an investment. The Amazon Packable Day Pack that we looked at throughout the video, it costs about $15 to $20 on Amazon. And so that's obviously a little bit more affordable. And a lot of the other bags that are very similar to that Amazon bag that fold up into each other are also kind of in that same 15 to $20 range. And you know, you can find a lot of bags kind of in that price range. And then, you know, as we move up the price scale, there's been some good options that we mentioned a little bit earlier as well, such as the Matador Packable Day Pack and the Mystery Ranch Day Pack. And so those are about kind of 60 to $80 in that range. You know, there's, there's a few different options. And so those bags are still a little bit cheaper than the Outbreaker and they do pack down into really small sizes. But I really do think the Outbreaker also brings a lot of value that those bags don't offer as far as the comfort, kind of the support that it offers, 
the internal organization for the laptop and all your accessories, and just the fact that it is still a very packable bag. So even though it's a little bit more expensive, I think that if you're looking for something that's gonna be capable and that you're gonna be actually able to use well as a day bag when you arrive at your destination, it's definitely worth taking a look at the Outbreaker Day Pack. Even though it's a little bit more expensive, I do think it makes up for that price difference with a lot of value and a lot of usefulness. And so if you're looking to save a little bit of money but you still like Tortuga's brand and the quality and the designs that they offer, you might wanna also check out the Set Out Packable Day Pack which is available for $39 on Tortuga's website. That seems to be kind of a nice, you know, in between between something as full featured as this day pack and then something that's a little bit more minimal like the Amazon Basics backpack. So, you know, that's just another nice kind of middle ground option. And um, I'll make sure to link in the description below to where you can find that as well. But overall, I was really impressed with the Outbreaker day pack. I'm definitely gonna be using this on all my future trips when I'm one bagging it. And I'm just excited to continue to test it out and use it in a lot of future trips. I want to go ahead and thank Tortuga again for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you guys found this video useful, please go ahead and give us a like below. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much.